boys and girls. So today we're going to talk about a couple vehicles or types of transportation that fly in the sky. What do you think I'm talking about? I'll give you the pictures. <gasps> These. What's this called? Airplane. Good job. And what's this one called? A helicopter. Let me get a little bit closer because I want to show you the difference between these. A plane uses these right here. They spin, spin, spin super fast in there. It's like a fan and air passes through so that the airplane can fly in the sky. So it uses air to fly. This is a helicopter. A helicopter has propellers on the top that spin, 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 spin super fast to move the air and the helicopter is able to fly by using air. That makes these aerodynamic, which means they use air to travel. Have you ever seen a helicopter or an airplane? Perfect. Have you ever been on one? Mm, awesome. Yeah, Ms. Welsh has been on an airplane and I'm actually going to be on one next week. So it's going to be pretty cool to be thinking about how it uses air to travel. I've never been on a helicopter before, but maybe someday. Now, like we just said, where do you find these two types of transportation? Where do they fly? In the sky. Good job. I'm going to go ahead and just put uh, these pictures up here. So, oops. So we know exactly what we're talking about. Now, what do you think airplanes and helicopters move? What do you think they transport? Do they transport giraffes? No. What do they transport? People, it's exactly. Airplanes take people from one place to another. Same with helicopters. Airplanes usually go a little bit farther than helicopters do, but they both take people through the air from one place to another. So let's write our morning message about that today. Go ahead and turn on your ears. Cha-ching, and listen. Airplanes and helicopters move people through the air Perfect, let's pat it. Airplanes and helicopters move people through the air. That's a super long sentence, so we're not going to count it because we'll get all jumbled up in our brain, but we're gonna write it and then we'll count it today. What was our first type of vehicle? Airplanes, good job. Instead of writing the word airplane, I'm gonna use the picture. Airplanes and what's this? Helicopters. Sometimes we can put pictures in place of words to help us tell the story. We can read this. Airplanes and helicopters move. What's the first sound you hear in move? Mm, 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 the letter and good job. Airplanes and helicopters move people. What's the first sound you hear in people? Pop, 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 the letter P. Good job. Airplanes and helicopters move people through the, what do they move people through? The air. Good job and we'll put a period. And they move people through the air because they are aerodynamic. The air that they move allows them to fly. It's super awesome. Something you'll learn more about when you're older too. Let's go ahead and read this sentence. Remember, these pictures are not words, but it helps us to read it. It helps us to know what word we're talking about. Airplanes and helicopters move people through the air. Ready, your turn. Airplanes and helicopters move people through the air. Perfect. Why do you think they move people through the air on an airplane and helicopter? Yeah, maybe. Which do you think is faster, an airplane or a car? An airplane and helicopter are a lot faster. You don't have to sit in traffic and you just fly to your spot. It takes a lot less time than a car does. All right, so let's go ahead and count some syllables. Our first word is airplane. Can you say airplane? 
Get your ruck ready, airplane, ready, go. How many? Airplane, two syllables, good job. Say helicopter. Get your ruck ready, helicopter, ready, go. How many? Hell, I, cop, ter. Four syllables. That's a big word. Move. Get your rock ready. Move. Ready, go. Move. One syllable. Good job. Say people. People. Get your rock ready. Ready, go. How many? P, pull. Two syllables. Good job. And last word, air. Get your rock ready. Air. Ready, go. How many? Air. One syllable. Good job. Now, Miss Velashik wants to know. Now, some of you have been on airplanes and, and uh, on some of you have not. A lot of us probably haven't been on a helicopter, but that's okay. If you could choose, which one would you rather be transported in? An airplane or a helicopter? Let me know below which one you'd rather be transported in, an airplane or a helicopter, and tell me why.